Hey guys, it's Brooks with Nitrous Fed Films. So I've been playing with the RC cars quite a bit with my kids. Um, wanted to get them into it, and I actually got a little one for the wife too. And it's fun. Like you meet up with friends, uh, some of their friends' parents and their kids, go run them around, get them out of the house. Uh, I've learned a few things uh, along the way. Uh, so we did a little unboxing with the kids, and they enjoyed it. And um, you know, we were excited. They ran them probably four, five, six times, maybe six, so, seven batteries through. Them. Teaching a kid how to just let off the trigger. I mean, all they want to do is boom, just go the whole way. <laughs> you know, yank the trigger, go, and just start turning, running into everything, going up and down. Well, what I didn't think about was the little Latrax pre runners. I didn't know. I should have looked at, at an exploded view before I purchased the things. Anyway, just to share with you so you don't make the same mistake that I did. I want to show you a few things. So I'm going to turn the camera around. That's the that's the pre-runner that I got for my wife. It's still running, but literally, that's the thing. Rebecca ran one battery through this thing. She was very careful. She barely ran into anything. And the rear diff had blown the, uh, the ring gear out of it. The pinion's always fine, just so the ring gear gets blown out of it. Uh, but she ran one battery through it. I mean, my kids did it seven times, eight times. And yeah, they ate their spur gears up. They eventually ate up the the uh you know the not the carriers but the ring gear and the carrier and the differential so um i don't know it's frustrating so you know right away just so you, you know, know these these uh ring gears so on the differential there's a ring gear there it focused on it and those teeth are just eaten like crazy now why that happens is <laughs> and i didn't know i figured but i figured anything would have a slipper gear but i was wrong so they're just eating the heck out of their spur gears, as you can see here. I've had this Slash Ultimate for probably, I don't know, seven, eight years, something like that. And you learn when you go to 2S and, of course, on to 3S. Now, this was, you know, almost 10 years ago, that you want that slipper clutch to slip a little bit. Well, these little guys, they don't have one. and just hammers them away. So... So basically what I'm getting at it is do yourself a favor and just these rustlers $159 with no battery. If you're in RC, you already got batteries, you know, uh, 159 bucks. And instead of being a four wheel drive, it's a two wheel drive, less parts to break for them. I already uh, ordered the RPM front bumper. It's on the way, the big bumper. And then the, this one also doesn't come with a guard for the, motor or anything but i ordered all that from rpm it's like 10 bucks a pop for those things so it's going to protect the back end of it it's going to put a nice bumper on it i'm not going to put a wheelie bar on it i mean just let it get up on the bumper you know um but i already found a, a weird deal with it as well so i already found a weird deal on these but right away you know this is a lot better it's got a slipper clutch i can adjust it they're not going to eat everything up um you know it's going to be better but right away i get this thing i mean so i get the rustler and these are the steering linkage turnbuckles i mean super super thin and they were already kind of arced and bent so again hobby park now uh, anything you use i know you've heard this a million times everybody does you got to use blue loctite on these things when you knock down these lock nuts and everything but i mean I had ordered those for my slash, but I didn't want to use all of them for my slash. I broke the rear and I wanted to adjust it. Uh, I only put two in the rear. I didn't use them for the steering linkage. There is a little bit of slop in this this hobby wing stuff. So, but for the kids, much better, and it won't break like this one will. So, I mean, look out for things right when you get them. You know, if you just look out for things right when you get them, try to you know, like I said, protect it. So anyway, we're going to, uh, we got the battery in this thing. We're going to just uh, fire it up on two cell and see how fast we, the tires you know, With the kiddos, definitely put them in on training mode. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I didn't put the pre-runners on training mode. I probably should have because they, they were hauling butt, probably doing 16, 17, 18 mile an hour. And these kids had never driven them. But uh, like I said, that's why they tore quite a bit up, you know, right away. But like I said, the boys lasted seven batteries for us. I had to take them apart find that the ring gear was messed up the spur gear was eaten up uh you know but they had some fun with them and we're still gonna have some fun with them we just know you gotta let off throttle on these guys they ain't no slipper clutch so uh, beware of that it's not like they're being thrown in the trash they're still gonna be used um but it's a good deal to jump up for them 
you know. Um, I enjoy it. If, if you're an RC guy, you're a gearhead. Uh, you know, a lot of gearheads who work on cars, I'll, I'll tell you that. These fulfill our uh, tinkering needs, you know. So if you got a family, get your kids into it. Doesn't matter, you know, girl, boy, you know, wife. It's just fun, you know. It's something fun to do with the family. And while they're all, you know, talking and reminiscing, you'll be fixing stuff. So it's a good outlet. <laughs> uh, I'm one of those weird guys who like that stuff. But, you know, um, we're going to give these a shot. We've got the turnbuckles on. Got the two two cell in, uh, got it in green mode for uh, low voltage detection on the ESC for um, the lipo. Uh, so we're just gonna see uh, how this thing spins. Let's check this out. Not bad. Not bad. Ballooning them up just a little bit. Let's see. All right, so we got to put the ESE into training mode. Press and hold. One. One, two. One, two, three. Let go. You'll see a one flash, two flash, and a three flash, and let go. And let's see if it spins slower now. There you go. Half the speed, probably. Now, I'll put it back into regular mode. Press and hold. One blink, let go. Back to green for low voltage. So he's about to walk off the yes, table. Thank you. But uh, no, so far so good. Uh, like I said, got MIP axles for it to throw in. Got an RPM uh, motor guard and bumper set up to go on it and a front uh, RPM bumper as well, the super wide bumper, because these kids, the way they drive them, they're gonna, they're gonna smack the crap out of this thing. So we'll put that, that real wide bumper on the front, the engine protector and bumper on the back and uh, get them set up, leave them in training mode. Uh, I will tell them, I will turn it up to full speed when you can drive it five times without breaking something. And there you go. So uh, put some limits on them. <coughs> And uh, let them have fun, though. So, uh, excited to get those going. Um, you know, you saw the unboxing of these with the kiddos. Uh, the wife's is running again, though. You got to keep the wife's car running. Guys, if you get into RC and your woman's uh, car ain't running, you're going to be in trouble. And we're taking your boys out and your daughter out and RC and not, not having mom one. They'll say, no, I don't want it, I don't want it. You put an RC in somebody's hands, they're going to have fun with it, so... Uh, just maintain it for your wife, maintain it, you know, for them, but start to teach kids how to maintain it themselves. But uh, a happy maintained RC car, a happy wife. So make her be part of the fun. If she says no, uh, they won't regret it. So anyway, just wanted to show you all the projects that are going on right now. We'll get into a video on the slash and on the rebuild uh, over here as well on the nitro. Um, but just want to share with uh, what we got going on. So, keep it classy, fellas.